Hi guys, it's me, Zell, and we are here with the last episode of Moon Knight, episode 6, titled Episode 6, supposedly. Um, yeah, let's see if we can get this together. My life's a little hectic right now. I am, I mean, you don't probably notice, but things are a little scattered. We're about to make a move, so um, my mic might sound a little different, and my background might look different or whatever, but hopefully it'll work out fine. Um, that's what I'm hoping for, but I'm excited to see this episode, you know, wrap up the show, see the, how they're going to conclude it. Um, and maybe we'll get a little teaser for, you know, another MCU character, um, one of the sh other shows or movies and whatnot. So yeah, I'm kind of excited. And also kind of the timing of this show ending and with Doctor Strange coming out, are we going to potentially see a teaser with Moon Knight in the movie. I don't know. It could have been just coincidence, but I'm ready to get to it. So let's just get to it. This <laughs> chance of healing potentially. Even though she's conflicted, she obviously is very upset. So wait, does that guide her to the others? Just... Wait, just automatically killing all of them? Was that a fair judgment? Oh. This is a face of a good man. Oh, I see. Rapid judgment and the others were deemed unworthy. Girl, you gotta be careful. You're going insta revenge mode. Oh my gosh. Wait, I am the goddess to wear it. Oh, she is trying to talk to her. That was so interesting. It's Mark who's telling you to stop. He is going to need Khonshu. Break his Shabti. It's in the chamber of the goddess. Why? Duh. Oh. Maybe if you paid attention. I believe the gods are hidden from mankind. Ooh, are we gonna see a god fight? Powers? I guess we break them all. If you don't know, well, they could be bad. Oh my gosh. You. Your humble disciple, my goddess, to whom you owe nothing. Your scales lack balance. I accept the scales regardless of the outcome. They lack balance because of what lies ahead of you. Whoa. I willingly submit. What well, lies at least ahead it's not hypocrite. Service to me. Serve me, and you will find She's peace. cool looking. I know she's fierce, though. If Mark is truly gone, I am in need of an avatar. Would you, Leila El Fouri, protect the travelers of the You're night? You're joking. You there you go. Mark's life into a wake. I don't care what you can offer. Mark Get him. doesn't trust you. I don't trust you. Good girl. Only an avatar can do it. I said no. Then get Mark. Oh. Where's Chao Wue? I can't say your name. She needs to help get Mark. Your heart is full. It's so. Oh. Quiet. Leave here. I love the ears. It's so satisfying. No. In the bed. He'd rather die. And all that all that field back there was looking wrong. We're the only real superpower I ever had. Uh, he saved them. Mark. Mm, I'm glad. So are the other gods really destroyed? Ooh, so cool. 
Oh, you better GTFO. Yeah, that's Mark's outfit. Or is it both it's a combo? Uh, just curious about something. How's this whole new arrangement? Oh, they share. Even Grant, I was not speaking. But <laughs> <laughs> we do come as like a package deal now, so you are going to They share. Cool. Tired. Oh, oh. Tired. Great! Good job! Wonder what ability she's gonna have. Oh! You changed your mind! I would be delighted to accept that you as my ally. I have a fabulous costume. Ooh! Oh no. This is like some more Thanos stuff going on. And she absorbs those and gets powerful? Cool. Whoa. Uh-oh. Oh, sad. All their food. Only punish those who have chosen evil. So do I. Only I don't give them the satisfaction of committing it. I think they're both, yeah, they're both just stubborn in their ways. Like, they are who they are. Can gods even change? So cool. Yeah, that... Amazing, what are you wearing? <laughs> Her smile. Cool. Nice. I love seeing Steven fight. They really can't defeat him with his little judging stick. I guess he's kind of like a mage, huh? I love the transitioning between the two. Oh, if you, they touch it and he judges, right? Oh, no! Oh! She wants to be... That's really cool. I'm ex happy that the good little girl saw that. Oh, no! A third one. A third one. Yeah, who is it, Steven? Not a chance. Grab my hands and can start the spell. Of course he's still alive. Duh. We're gonna make this our paradise. It's too late, darling. You will be destroyed. So cool. Yep. You have a choice. She will kill again. I sound just like her. Do it yourself. Mm. Well, now he won't release now you. Release us. As you wish. Really? No, the abilities. But there's a third thing. So, so what? This is what reality looks like. What if we disagree, Doc? No. Oh, I'm so confused. So now work here continues. Hey, you see that, don't you? Why am I bleeding? 
While it is tempting to accept your diagnosis, Doc. Wow. We'd rather go save the world. Hey, let's go, yes. Back, I knew it, back in bed. Can't believe it worked. What? No, I have so many questions. That's falling down. Time for bed. Oh. <gasps> Who is it? Who is it? <laughs> you want to know something? Mark Spector truly believed that. After he and I parted ways, I wanted his wife to be my avatar. He avatar. has no idea how troubled he truly so is. So Conchu is the third... Meet my friend, Jake Lockley. Why te toca perder? Wait, was Jake Lockley that other mercenary that killed her dad, like killed all of the architect people? So it was Mark all that time. It wasn't this mysterious other mercenary. It was him, this other. So where did this guy come from? I knew it. I knew there was another personality in there. And I'm like, oh, okay, maybe it's just like, I don't know, this other layer, but Steven, Mark, Jake. Jake ain't a great guy, as we see. And for, and, and he still agrees to be Khonshu's avatar. He doesn't need all three of them to degree. Ooh, so many questions. It's just satisfying to know, to, but man, uh, well, obviously we knew this third personality was, or third alter ego or whatever is, was brutal because of the other snapbacks was like doing things that even Mark wouldn't do. And he only does things out of necessity and protection, right? Where it seems like Drake is like the cruelest of them all and will do whatever he needs to do to get it done. What is, what drives Jake? What is his goal? What is his, is it just, to do vengeance, just like what Kanshu wants. So many questions. Sorry, does that mean Mark and Steven think that they are rid of Kanshu? I don't know. It, it makes me excited, but now I really wanna see more. I'm really excited when we're gonna next see Moon Knight. And usually they tease and they're like, you will see Moon Knight and blah, 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 but they didn't really do that. Anyways, man, that was a good, good show. Um, really cool. I feel like, I feel like also they didn't really talk about it much, but Layla and Tawit, I struggle with that name. Um, even though she said temporarily, I think with that girl seeing Egyptian superhero, will she like agree now and then to be that? Or are they hinting that little girl will grow up and be an avatar? Are they, I don't know. So I, I'm curious about that. They, they really did not do anything with Layla towards the end there. So that's kind of up in the air. Um, if whether they're still, I imagine her and Jake, or sorry, not Jake, her and Mark slash Steven. Are they gonna be weird about that being like, if they're in a relationship, like, I think he's, that's an interesting dynamic part of it. Cause he got jealous, but then he didn't, but now that they're kind of the same in one. But really good, really good show. A lot of layers, the whole asylum thing and them going later gators and then waking up to two fish. That part's a little trippy still trying to piece that together. What does it mean? Are these actually like other alternate realities? Is this all within the mind? Did they go back to this mind asylum because of Jake? Or is this Harrow? I don't know. There's that that part of it's a little bit me not tracking and following, but 
it's intriguing nonetheless. So overall, the show was wonderful. I loved it. It was really good. A lot of layers. The music was really good. The, the setting was really good. I liked all the characters introduced and these giant gods fighting and their avatars and the costumes and all that. So very exciting and a really interesting concept. So it does make me intrigued more about this um, Egyptian gods and, and, and some of those histories. So. But yeah, on that note, thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this show, Moon Knight as a whole, and my review and reactions. If you want to show your support, give the video a thumbs up and comment with your thoughts about how you felt about the show. Um, and if you want to show further support and see about next future content I do, like Kenobi and all these new shows coming out, any other Marvel, Star Wars shows, I definitely put an emphasis and focus on those. But yeah, go ahead and subscribe and be notified when those videos will be released. Otherwise, thanks so much again for watching guys, and I will see you on the future on the next one. Thanks.